Hey folks, it is Kevin here in Japan. Kevin on the Busan Kevin channel. Um, yeah, so it is a hot Saturday afternoon, late afternoon. I've spent the majority of the day inside with the air conditioning. You might be thinking, that's a bit weird, Kevin. You're an outdoorsy kind of guy. Yeah, I am, but today I opted for the comfort of air conditioning. Um, so I'm, I'm in the midst of preparing homemade pizza. Gonna be honest, it's gonna be one of my last pizzas. Maybe not the last, but one of the last pizzas that I make in my current apartment, my current house, my house of nine years here in Japan. Uh, I just wrote a post on justjapanstuff.com, my blog, about how we're leaving. Japan and if you don't know that already my family is leaving Japan we're heading to Beijing China where I'll be working in a new job <clears throat> uh, very soon uh, my son is at a really fun event today <coughs> um, his elementary school has this huge event put on the parent teacher put on by the parent teacher association where essentially it started at 2 p.m. or 2 30 it will finish at 8 p.m. where the uh, basically the school is open this it's like a there is uh, games in the gymnasium, uh, different games out on their field. The swimming pool is open for swimming class or for swimming playtime. Uh, and then for dinner, they're going to be having curry rice, and then there's going to be ghost stories. And it'll be over at eight. So uh, it sounds like it's going to be a pretty fun time. Uh, it's really hot outside, so I hope all the kids are going to be okay in the heat. Um, I hope my son is going to be okay because this morning we took him and my daughter Rena to the doctor for their final round of vaccinations before heading to China. And they, they were vaccinated for hepatitis A and B. Now, this was the third round of vaccinations for that, so three times. And, oh sorry, the second round, second round. There'll be one more in six months from now. And their third round of rabies vaccinations. You're thinking rabies? Well, apparently in China, outside of the urban areas, rabies is quite an issue. Um, and due to the fact that, you know, I'm sure in the two years that we're in China, we're going to be doing a little bit of traveling outside of the city. Um, it's recommended by the Japanese government that you get your children inoculated for rabies because, you know, children don't have the, the not often, younger children won't maybe have the common sense to stay away from animals uh, that we adults do. Bloody expensive though, not covered by Medicare, all out of our pocket. I'm not going to say how much, just a ton of money hundreds and hundreds of dollars for the rabies vaccinations. But, you know, um, what's money when it comes to your, your kids health and safety, right? Money's nothing, whatever. Um, kids first, money, you spend the money to make, to, to keep them safe. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so, so the, the problem is though, um, every time the kids have had the rabies vaccinations, they both had very high fevers that night. So we know that tonight, my son's gonna have a really high fever uh, my daughter, actually, we got the vaccinations around 9, p 9 a.m. She fell asleep around 9.30 a.m. And she just woke up around 3.30 p.m. So she was asleep for about five hours. Enjoying the things that go so well with pizza, guys, right here. At least with making pizza and with pizza. Yeah, so uh, today that's what I'm going to be doing, making the pizza. Um, I put out a short episode of the Just Japan podcast last night just me solo explaining some things about what's going on and why you haven't heard from me in a month um gonna be recording tonight or tomorrow night an actual episode probably tomorrow night with with an interviewee because it's now almost five and i haven't contacted anyone to see if they're available tonight to talk mm, you never know though we'll see um and then later on in the week i've got kind of a big finale party podcast party podcast party thing planned um, yeah, so we'll get a few episodes up before I'm out to China. A few more episodes, at least two more episodes up and out to you, awesome folks, before I head to China of the Just Japan podcast. Uh, yeah, so um, so I'm not going to end the video right now because I'm just going to put some clips from the pizza and things that are going to happen from now on later to the day thing. Yeah. Bye. Until you see me again. All right, guys. So I'm making homemade pizza. Homemade pizza. One of the last times I'll be doing this in this kitchen. Homemade pizzas will be made in other kitchens in the future. Got some yeast, dry yeast. The way I rise it is in some warm water. My all-purpose flour. Uh, I've already cooked, I've, I, I like to pre-fry all this stuff. I find it brings out more flavor. Green pepper. I love mushrooms. These are shiitake mushrooms, and that's some New England edition Centauri beer. Very fruity. Lots of pepperoni, I like to fry it up a bit, bring up the flavor. Uh, homemade sauce, 
this sauce, I used uh, basil, rosemary, and thyme from my uh, from uh, my balcony garden. So I picked them fresh, simmered them. We got this uh, flour with salt. Gonna pour the yeast in there soon. A little bit of olive oil in there too. Mix it all up. Let it rise. Knead it. Let it rise and give me pizza time. Oh yeah. Hey guys, Kevin here. I'm just taking a just, uh, break for a moment here. I just, uh, I'm cycle commuting home, and uh, here's the first one. Um, I just got hit in the head by a bird. Really, like no joke. Like a sparrow flew into my head, and I didn't crash. I almost crashed, but I like wrenched my neck when I like kind of like totally spazzed when this. I just saw something flying at me from the corner of my eye and then it impacted and uh, that didn't hurt, it just freaked me out and then I went and then oh my god my neck is killing me. I've never been hit with a bird, by a bird. I had a cicada fly into my head last year and then I, I actually crashed when that happened, I fell off my bicycle. Um, wow, that was weird. Oh, I just want to share some moments, uh, real life in Japan moments guys. Oh, my neck is killing me! Ouch! I hope you don't get hit in the head with a bird. It sucks. All right, day's over. I actually didn't get to film much. Filmed a little bit about the pizza, but then just got busy, and and there you go. So, um, guys, not much to report on this Saturday here in Japan. Um, yeah, so hope you guys had a great day. Check the links below. Uh, check out the Just Japan podcast. Check out JustJapanStuff.com. Check out me on Facebook at Just Japan Stuff. Follow me on Twitter at JLandKev. Um, hit the bell button. You see the little bell symbol down there? There's a bell. Hit the bell. If you hit that bell, every time I make a video, you'll get alerted that the video pops up because it doesn't always happen. So sometimes when I make videos, you don't know about it. But if, I, if you do click that bell every time I make a video, you're going to know about it. And like and subscribe.